What is going on guys? Jacob here with another question and answer video. I've got a question I get asked quite a lot and that is what type of cardio is best for me to lose weight? Okay, now the first thing that I go into with anyone who asks me that is how do you lose weight? Okay, what does cardio do? What, what does cardio do to you to, to accelerate your weight loss? Well, what it does is it raises your heart rate. The, the, the faster your heart rate is going, whatever activity you're doing, whether that be walking, swimming, running, fucking whatever, um, the more calories you're going to be burning. You know, it's as simple as that. The more muscle tissue you have on your body at the time of doing cardio, the more calories you're going to be burning. Uh, muscle tissue uh, takes, you know, far more calories than fat tissue to maintain and to move. So that's another thing that you've got to keep in mind. Now, as far as this question is going to be related to low intensity, steady state cardio versus high intensity interval training cardio. So lists versus hit. Um, personally, guys, I, I've tended to go to, towards the low intensity, steady state cardio. Now, as far, you know, there's certain reasons why I do that. Um, there's pros and cons of each, but basically the way I see it, I enjoy going for a walk, right? So I, you know, first thing in the morning, if I don't have work that day, I really enjoy getting up before I have any chance to sort of think about anything, getting out into that fresh air and, and hitting the streets. Most mornings I can't be fucked running, I'm not going to lie. And personally, I believe that running's overrated or too much running is, is certainly overrated. I think that in the long run, it's going to be bad for your knees, bad for your joints. I feel that a nice brisk walk, maybe on a slight incline, is a lot easier on your knees and, and um, you know, it's not going to fuck me up for the future. So, especially if you're going to be doing cardio, you know, every day or every second day, I feel that a run might be, might be too much for your joints. So, um, in saying that, I, I like to get out, get out first thing in the morning and, and go for a walk, you know, and my walk might last an hour, it might last two hours, you know, um, and I guess the negative of that is if you're pressed for time. So if you're pressed for time, you've only got half an hour and you want to burn a good amount of calories, well, high intensity interval training is going to be your only option. Um, whether that's interval training or whether that's just high intensity the whole 30 minutes, is, is up to you, um, it's, it's how much you can handle I guess, but yeah, if, if, time, if time is an issue, then high intensity I would recommend, if time's not an issue, personally I love low intensity steady state, I, I put on a YouTube video, I put on a podcast, music, stick it on my ears, and just really enjoy, enjoy the outdoors man, just look around and, and enjoy that, now as far, if, if I'm going to a gym, I will most likely go for the high intensity uh, steady state, I, you know, I, uh, high intensity interval training. I can't spend over an hour doing cardio in a gym, it's just too mundane, it's too, it's, it's fucking boring, you know, I, I don't enjoy it. So if I'm in the gym and I'm going to be doing cardio, I want to be doing something high intensity for 30 minutes, burn my calories, get in and out, and that's it. As far as weight training goes, well I can spend at least an hour in the gym, I love weight training. Cardio, not so much. So let's say, let's say for an hour's walk, I'll, I'll burn 500 calories. Well, for, for half an hour's run, I'll burn the same amount of calories. So really, what is best for fat loss? Uh, you know, it's all numbers, man. It's, it's science. It's um, calories in versus calories out. So you want to only burn 300 calories in half an hour? Go for a walk. You want to burn 500 calories in half an hour? Go for a run. You want to burn 1,000 calories in half an hour? Fucking do squats non-stop for half an hour, and you probably will. So depending on how many calories you want to burn, how many you've taken in, how guilty you feel at the time, is going to determine whether you go for high-intensity cardio or low-intensity steady-state cardio. As I've said personally, I like low-intensity steady-state for various reasons. So, for example, I'll give you... I'll give you an example for today, okay, so it's, uh, it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon right now, I got up at 8, um, 8.30 I was out the door, 
I walked till 10. I listened to a Grant Cardone podcast on wealth and finance and shit like that. I get quite inspired with that sort of stuff, especially first thing in the morning. So did that, got back at 10, and I burnt, fuck, what was it like? I think it was only about five, five, six hundred calories for an hour and a half. And you know, that it's, it's not much, but I got more out of it than just, just the calories burnt. So I feel good about it. Like I said, if I was, if I had to go to work in an hour, I'd most probably wait till after work to do cardio. But if I couldn't wait, then I would, I would go for a run and possibly, you know, do a circuit or sit ups and sit up a circuit of some sit ups, press ups and body weight squats for maybe 10 minutes, then I'd go for a possibly a 10 minute run and then I'd do another 10 minutes of that and that would be 30 minutes, I'd burn at least 500 calories and it'd be sweet. So it's up to you guys, that's just a few, a few thoughts from my brain, from me to you. Um, we're all in this game together man, if you are dieting, cardio is cardio, you're gonna need to do it at some stage, um, I believe, I mean, there are people who are genetically leaner and they seem to be able to maintain that a lot easier. Uh, for me, I feel like just that, that little bit of oomph, I've got to get my heart rate going at least once or twice a day to, to really get myself into that fat burning mode. So that is through you know, a cardio session and a weight session. So I enjoy it. It's, it's, it's part of my life now, it's part of my lifestyle. Uh, for anyone who has never gone for a walk, who has never gone for a run, just try it, man. Get up. Get up fucking early. Get up at five in the morning when it's still dark and see how you feel getting out into that fresh air with the headphones on, man. Get back at six o'clock. Everyone else is just, you know, they're still asleep, man. You're back at six. You've already done an hour's cardio. It's an amazing feeling. I recommend you try it. Until next time, peace.